Hello, hello. How's the audio today? Let me know if the audio is good. It's, it got changed around since the last stream. <laughs> uh, who do we have? We have Ravens first. Loki haven't been this excited for a stream in like two years. Dropped into the keyboard rabbit hole four days ago. Dang. Welcome, welcome, rabbit or ra ravens. Uh, Piezo Electro, hello. <laughs> uh, Tommy Crayon, thank you so much for the six months in a row. Dang, finally the Blue Alps. Congrats. <clears throat> uh, and full of terrors, hello. Any opinions on the KBD fan Zeo PC? I know I'm gonna get a ton of those today. Uh, I'm still gonna hold off on it. Still wanna hold off. Supposedly, Zeal said he just got off the phone with Gatoron not too long ago. And Gatoron is gonna also release a statement within the next day, so I'm gonna wait until that. Yeah. <clears throat> Taciturn photographer, hello. Nishiki Renai, something wrong. Lud Helios. <laughs> uh, Hippia Lonzo, hello, hello. Frisco Melt, hello. And Taciturn photographer, thank you so much for the two months in a row with the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you. And Ravens, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yo, Crowbit, hello. Can't watch you tonight, guys. See you Saturday, Sunday. Love you. I love you too. What TV, what keyboard is this? Uh, there is a keyboard command. If you do exclamation point keyboard on any stream, it'll sh it should tell you what keyboard I am using during that stream. How's the audio? Is the audio okay for you guys? <clears throat> Music's not too loud. Yo, Young Tilla, hello. Gandalf the Mandalf, hello. Eustelio, my Felios. <laughs> Aloed, hello. Two months. Thank you so much for the two months, Aloed. Audio is good. Okay, that's good to hear. Can't watch the stream tonight, but I'll try to catch a feature when I have a good stream. Thank you for stopping by, Lunar Pie. Yeah, I did hit 10k today. Did have ten k. Flame Evan, hello. It's undone, hello. Magic call, just hello. Chamchi, much Chukan hitting ten k. Regards from Toronto. Ooh, Toronto. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Prof McDougal, Jack's Tastic, hello. Have you ever tried the raincoat mod? I did. I didn't like it all that much. <laughs> Lou Bellios, thank you so much for the two months in a row. I'm glad you think that, despite all the drama. <laughs> oh, announce on Twitter, yes. No announce on Twitter. I always forget Twitter. Twitter's too hard, man. Going, oh going to unbox some stuff and build a keyboard. <clears throat> Twitch.tv types. What? Wait, hold on. Oh man. Uh, Best Tree, thank you so much for the follow. Spicy Bui, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thanks for streaming and making me build my first custom. Genesis, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Young Tilla, gifting 5 subs again. What? Young Tilla, thank you so much. Ooh, Young Tilla, I don't know if you. I think you are in my Discord, right? I'm gonna be having a subathon soon. So if you want to see me suffer and stream eternally, I hope you're there. <laughs> OMG, it's Ham. Thank you so much for the follow. 
Uh, Youth Sue, hello. What other cases with the DZ60 RGB fit other than the Tofu T9? Kind of regret buying the kit. I want a much better looking case. Uh, the DZ60 RGB should fit any tray mount 60% uh, that I can think of. The Fiel, it would fit in the Fiel. What other tray mount 60% are there? The Nogseri T60, I believe, it should fit there as well. Uh, ADB7, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Is this build a fake or real board? <clears throat> Yo, Albert, hello, what the? We have Albert in chat today. Chewy, hello. Dang, Albert's here. I was gonna unbox some stuff at the end of the stream. Maybe I should unbox stuff first. Because Albert's probably gonna leave soon. What does chat say? Should I start off with the unboxings or unbox at the end? What's the unbox? I have tons of stuff to unbox. Oh, I should probably... I gotta unbox first. Forgot to black out my address. Box it up. Lightning, hello. Any melon voice chat? There's gonna be more melon voice chat this weekend. That I can guarantee. Ah oh, yeah. I have my address on too many things. got home from work so didn't have time to do this beforehand <coughs> uh, Nathan box streamer to return that uh the me6 oh it did ping my server already that was pretty quick oh live comment Oh, we have Key Cult in the chat. Uh, Genesis, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, Zealus22, thank you so much for the follow. What board do I use at work? Currently, I use my Real Force 104 High Pro at work. <laughs> uh, Wilba, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Jayun, hello. <clears throat> One more minute and then I'll start the unboxings. What board is this? Jayun, I thought you knew what board this is. We built it up on stream before. It's the TGR A17. I haven't used this in a while and it feels so nice. Well, yeah, Jayun, you've felt this in person, Jay. <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, you felt it in person, Jay. I think Jay's the only other person- No, Lark Carps has felt this keyboard. Lark Carps has felt this keyboard. 
Those are the only two people in chat who have felt it. <laughs> that sounds kind of lewd. I haven't recorded the typing test for this yet, but let me... Let me let you guys listen to the space bar. This, oh no, I just opened Photoshop. The space bar on this is godly. So I'll just I'll just do a quick typing to hear the space bar. It's hard to hard to convey it online, but it's very nice. <clears throat> uh, editor, thank you so much for two dollars. How was your day? My day was pretty good. Work was pretty chill today. Just got home and streaming now. Uh, a lot of poop. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> uh, no, these are not Helios. These are MX Xylance. They are not Helios. Okay, it's 8.12. So I guess we could start with the unboxings. Oh boy, what to start with? So I have some non-keyboard stuff too. Should I unbox the keyboard stuff first or the non-keyboard stuff first? Uh, Saturn Lee, thank you so much for the follow. Keyboard first or non-keyboard first? Oh wow, you guys want non-keyboard stuff first. Oh, interesting. Inter interesting. Al Albert might like this. Have I clearly... Shoot, hold on, one more step. Ta -da! Art of play. Does anyone know what art of play is? Oh yeah, Albert knew instantly. <laughs> <coughs> I did get new cards. Cards and keyboards. Oh shoot. <laughs> Are two things I collect. Uh, Terrible Eddie, thank you so much for the follow. I got, I got quite a bit this time. Terrible Eddie, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Trash. Do you use them or just collect? So I don't really practice anymore, Albert. <laughs> I used to I used to use them, but now they're mostly just for collecting purposes. Yeah, I haven't really practiced in years. I'm pretty out of touch. I tried on stream once and then people called me the budget Albert because I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, but I mostly collect you now. The, my goal in life eventually is to own a house and then have a room dedicated to just my collection. I want to just have like shelves filled with cards displayed and then another room just filled with keyboards and then have like a mini museum people can hang out in for like five dollars per hour or something, I don't know. Yeah, but Art of Play they uh, sell cards and like puzzles, but like nice ones. So I got one, two, three, four, five, I got seven decks from them today. <clears throat> Shall we take a look? GG Mrs. Kim. 
These are the seven designs. I wanted to buy more, but I couldn't afford more. Card decks add up quite quickly in price. And Oh, your friend made the floor deck? What? I didn't know that. I don't have any friends in the magic world. <laughs> Feels bad. Uh, why do people like GMK so much even compared to ABS? Uh, GMK is ABS, but GMK makes the highest quality ABS keycaps. We went to the magic castle at the same time. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, so these are the seven decks. I'm not gonna open all of them. I'll let chat open one. Which one of these decks is... What? Which one of these does chat want me to open? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I see a lot of floras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rooster TM, hello! Oh, I see a lot of fives. The one with cards. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm also getting sick. My throat's been like... I'll do Flora. Oh, I just cut my nails yesterday too. Flora deck looks like. Oh, it has writing. What the? Oh, it even has Korean. If, if you can see right there, Plora has a flower. Oh. oh, okay. It's just it's just this text repeating everywhere. Designed by Paul Robaya. Robaya? Is that a... <clears throat> I don't know what ethnicity that is. Hispanic? Another thing... I don't really like it when people, when people cut the deck. But I can't open it well because my nails are cut. I like to preserve the sticker if I can. So that way I can reclose it. Yo, Christopher, hello! Finally a solo stream? I'm usually... I'm usually solo. The podcast you tuned into was more of a... exception. <laughs> GG. Ooh. Ooh. If you guys don't know, Christopher Yi, top 16, just made it to top 16 for streamer camp. I'm rooting for you, Christopher. What about your roommate? What about my roommate? Ooh. So this is the artwork of the back of the cards. Pretty nice. It's got that like hipster, not hipster, that like Like that F-boy floral pattern kind of going on. Not exactly F-boy, but it's a little bit more elegant than like the typical streetwear floral stuff you see. Let's go through some of the cards. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, so these are just burner cards. You don't really need those ever in a deck, but ooh. Yeah, so the, the, at least face card wise, it's pretty standard. The colors are slightly different from <clears throat> typical bicycle cards, but also burner. As long as the, yeah, the face cards weren't redesigned other than the ace, unfortunately, but 
I don't mind it. As long as the back. For me, if the back is pretty and unique enough, I will buy it. Because oh, I'm just collecting it for the aesthetic reasons and uh, emotional reasons. Not really using it to perform magic or anything, so. Yeah. Pretty nice though, I like this. We got a lot of stuff to unbox, I'm gonna go a little quickly today. You know, once I'm done playing with it, I like to put the sticker back. I'm trying to make it into Asian candy. <laughs> no, you should make it diverse, Christopher. We shouldn't make it Asian camp. <laughs> Do I like Tally Ho? I do like Tally Ho. They're a little bit expensive, but I do like them. Uh, Tally Ho's are one of my first, like, few decks. Okay, moving on. No, not one. But we got two desk mats. Uh, Stewie, thank you so much for that 700 bits. What? Thoughts on SA Bliss? I don't know what SA Bliss is. Can you link me a picture? I don't like SA in general, so I'm not the best person to ask about SA, but I can comment on the colorway if you want. So, oh, look at this. Maybe the contrast is a little too hard to see on stream, but. This is the DSA Milk. This is the Milkshake desk mat. So it's very nice. Standard uh, Novel Keys desk mat quality. Nothing new there. But the design. Oh yeah, Lark, this is the desk mat that accompanies your uh, keycap set. So we got the black one. Then they also have a white version. Ooh, look at this. So you can clearly tell the design with this one. This is nice. Damn, I should have gotten another one so I could use it on stream. But desk mats, they're also starting to add up. I joined in for the Mizu desk mats, the Bento desk mat. I got this. Like I need a I need a storage solution for desk mats too now. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all these desk mats just lying around. Uh, which Mizu? I got both Mizu desk mats. I think they look fantastic. Yeah, but the bento ones are also clean. This one also clean. Very nice. So these are available on Novel Keys. They are a sponsor of this channel. I have a promo code with them. If you use it, NK types, it will get you 5% off. Okay, so that was unboxing item number two. Just use them as wallpaper. Might need help with soundproofing on. Oh, milkshakes already sold out? Well, there you go. It's no surprise that these sold out. Oh, and then if you put my TGR A17 on here, and the RGB glows at max. It's pretty clean. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. This is OP OP. <clears throat> okay. Uh, unboxing item number three. Tadaan. I received my Modern Dolch. I don't know who else joined in on Modern Dolch, but I've been waiting for this for a while. So this is from Dixie Mech. Uh, extras are going to go live sometime soon. There are extras available. So if you guys missed out on Modern Dolch, that will be available on Dixie Mech's website soon also a sponsor of this channel so consider using my affiliate link but let us rip open a brand new GMK set 
디스 이즈 더 에세이 블리스 세디 프 유드 라이크 투룩 Wait, how do I access the link? I can't click the link from my dashboard. Oh, just kidding, I got it. <clears throat> no, looks like I can't copy that. Uh, Anonymous, thank you so much for the $5 tip, by the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm liking this so far. I haven't seen the keycap set, but. Oh, okay. So, okay. So this is like, this is like a dark theme GMK Olivia going on. I see. I like it. I mean, yeah, the dark theme looks nice. I like it. It's a shame it's an SA, not a not the biggest fan of how SA feels, but yeah, if you are a fan of SA, I think this looks pretty nice. I like it. Oh, I like it. If it was GMK, I would have hopped on an instant. Same. <laughs> I'm very glad I don't like SA, because then that would mean uh, t two profiles of keycaps I have to pay for, but luckily I don't like SA all that much. Let's see what this modern Dolch looks. So I do like this box, it has like a marble marble background graphic to it I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty basic I do like marble countertops so I like that my goal when I have that mini museum set up in my house it will definitely have marble in that room too but this is what the base set looks like uh, nothing too surprising it is a variant of Dolch after all, so Dolch is a pretty, pretty popular and timeless colorway in the community. Nothing too surprising here, but these accents. Or what make the kit? Hmm. They're a little bit more vibrant, should I say, than the renders. We'll see. We'll have to see how this looks on a keyboard. We will probably use this in today's build to see what it looks like. Yeah, the the. It's a little bit more like punchy, I want to say. It's very vibrant, the accents. It looked a bit not as harsh in the renders, but still excited. I will probably use the teal. Is this teal? The teal more than the red, I think. So, yeah. Oh. Take a look at this. Let's do. We will come back to this. At the end of the build. It's okay. You can use the. Oh, I could use the mist. I could use the Mr. Sleeve accents. That's right. Uh, Anonymous, thank you so much for the five dollar tip. Sa Bliss as well. Gmk Bliss is the plan round two. So I'm keeping my hopes up for that. Ooh. Ooh. Mr. Sleeves is the next keycap set we are unboxing. Who joined in on Mr. Sleeves? How many people in chat got Mr. Sleeves? Ooh, wait. 
I might like my Mr. Sleeves better on this than the modern Dolce accents. I don't know about chat. It's also very blown out because of the lighting, but I don't know. Mr. Sleeve? Eh. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see later. Uh, Megaforce, thank you so much for the 80 bits. Your cute face makes my... <laughs> I love you, Megaforce. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Mr. Sleeves, these are actually my keycaps that I ran with GMK. My first ever product with the keyboard community. So if you guys didn't buy Mr. Sleeves, shame on you. You guys don't love me enough if you guys didn't buy Mr. Sleeves, but... I'm just kidding. Uh, extras already sold out. I think I saw someone asking about it. Yeah, I think it looks a little desaturated in, on stream, but... Nope, that's also not good. Yeah. In before Mr. Sleeves flipped on mech market for 300. I don't think these are gonna go for 300. That's ridiculous. <laughs> good thing I bought them, Larkars. <laughs> yeah, good, good thing you bought them. Yeah, Mr. Sleeves. Oh, I'm holding my Mr. Sleeves. It's like we're holding hands. Ooh. <laughs> I need them damned aftermarket Mr. Sleeves. Oh, Jack's Tastic, you couldn't grab one? Feels bad. Jack's Tastic, not a true fan. Yeah, Mr. Sleeves, we have already seen this before. Um, it turned out pretty much how the samples looked, so I'm not going to go too in-depth with this as well. I can put it back in the... Hush. I'll put it back in the bag later. That dude bought the last seven of them or something. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. I... You know, as, as much as I would like to think that my products are highly sought after by the community, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Sleeves will fetch ridiculous prices, so... Joke's on them, I guess. Hero King Sleek, Gun Power Awake, Except Power Awking Lion Sleek, Slop Time, Slop, 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 <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. <laughs> uh, always a quiver. Thank you so much for the follow. What? Talisman Solutions. The Talisman Solutions Classic. Thank you so much for the 1,111 bits. Ooh, you're one off from 10,000. I'm just saying. Uh, that fam, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, next package is from my motherland, North Korea. If anyone can read Korea, Korean, my uh, fellow cousins, just kidding. It's not from North Korea, but. Can anyone guess what this is? Some other people might have received a similar package. If they are into Vintage stuff. Wait, is this what I think? Yeah, it is what I think it is. So if you guys didn't hear, there was a group buy for Nas. White Alps on Desk 40 a couple weeks ago. Ooh. These are definitely Nas. 
Yes, if you guys don't know, these are vintage switches um, called Alps. Or Alps is the manufacturer, sorry. Uh, the six month sub badge is a blue Alps. This is a white Alp switch, both of which are clicky switches. So these were the rivals to the Cherry. No, I take that back. They weren't the rivals. I don't think the MX Blue was out at the time, but um, Alps and Cherry, when they first started off, they were kind of the biggest two competitors. And then Cherry won, unfortunately, but luckily you can still find Alps switches lying around. Uh, Vint Keys, thank you so much for the 25 bits. Have you tried NMB Gun? I'm not into Gundams. Or is that some kind of spell? Space Invader you're talking about. Yeah, what is NAS? NAS stands for New Old Stock. So these are basically um, vintage items that were made but never used. So as you can tell, there is zero solder on the switch. That's one of the ways to determine if a switch or anything, if a switch is New Old Stock, it should have zero, absolutely zero solder. So yeah, this looks spotlessly clean, and then you have to feel it. Oh, we have whoops in chat too. Hello, whoops. Yeah. So this is what white alps sound like. Only keyboard to twenty pages now. There, how go you? In my opinion, Alps clicky switches are far superior to MX clickies, but Alps, that's a whole different rabbit hole. <laughs> Sourcing Alps parts is quite a hassle. Wouldn't recommend it for someone new, but if you, if you ever want to venture into Alps, I would recommend it with caution. Alps caps are a nightmare. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why. Yeah, Alps switches. I think, I think I got 200 Alps switches. So yeah, we have 200 white Alps switches in this bag. So I will be using these in future builds. Just continuing to hoard more Alps stuff. So I can have a lifetime supply of Alps. There you go. Nathan, when will you design GMK Gochujang? <laughs> GMK Gochujang is basically GMK Hamon or Red Rye. Oh, I guess Red Rye is not GMK, but. Okay. Next up. Who knows what these are? Uh, Vint Keys, thank you so much for the 25 bits. 1214 Tyler, thank you so much for the follow. Can anyone tell me what switches these are? Does anyone know? <clears throat> unholy pandas. No, not unholy pandas. Not gap blacks. Not koalas. Gator on milky black. Ooh, I see some clear pandas. Yes, these are clear pandas. Uh, so I know Huey unboxed his, same as Quakem's. I also received some clear pandas. I don't know if these are going to go public. To my knowledge, these ran in China already. So I'm going to be building some holy pandas with these to see if it's better or worse or the same as a B-Sun Panda. So these are also manufactured by B-Sun. You, uh, you probably can't see the logo. Yeah, so these are made by B-Sun. The bottom housing, definitely different. Kind of has the uh, milky gator on bottom look. Top is clear. So yeah, I feel like the sound might change. 
for better or for worse. Yeah, feel-wise, it's also... <laughs> These might be... Yeah, they're whatever linears. Yeah. We'll see. This is for another time, not today's stream, but... I have received clear pandas, I'm gonna give my thoughts on it too. Last item to unbox. Who can guess what's in here? It's also unopened. This is not from Novel Keys, no. Oh, yeah. Is this the last thing to... Yeah, this is the last thing to unbox. Die sub keycaps. No. What? Lightning, how'd you know? How can you tell from this box, Lightning? Lightning got it right. This is from Togepi keycaps. Oh. Ooh. Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. <laughs> So it has a, is this considered an ID card? No, it's not an ID card. This is just their like business card. Togepi, togepi.com. If you like this artisan, consider checking them out. Pretty nice people. I've talked to them briefly for a couple moments here and there. But let's look at their keycaps. I won two blinks from, I believe it was like a blind raffle thing that they had. So it's, okay, that's way too overblown. So it's got some Easter pastel colors. Ooh la la. Don't know what board or key set I'm gonna use this with, but <laughs> I thought it looked pretty. You can see the maker's mark right there. It has a little cute star. Caps are decently thick, I would say. Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty, pretty smooth too. Very nice. Let me show my mail day stuff. Call me in. <laughs> Wait, right now? <laughs> Oof, very nice. Yeah. If you like their keycaps, consider joining their artisan sales. I'm somewhat about that pastel life, so I couldn't pass this up. Looks pretty nice. I feel like these would serve as pretty good accents against like a, a sil all silver case or something. Just a nice cute little touch. Have a great stream heading out. Oh, Kiko, I couldn't give you a nice announcement for your sponsorship, but I guess I can do that now. Uh, Dixie Mech, or not. What, well, Jax Tastic? Thank you so much for gifting Pluto a sub. But yeah, if you guys just wait a little bit. You guys see this? You guys see this? You guys see this? Um, so I did briefly announce it, mention it on Wednesday's stream when we had the 
impromptu stream. But to give them a official welcoming, Key Cult is now a sponsor of Teha Types. Uh, Jahulius. <laughs> Thank you so much for the three months in a row. So yeah, Key Cult. Oh my gosh, Kelly, please. Atitanami, <laughs> Gum <laughs> Thousand solutions saying key cult meet Kelly. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 200 bits, Kelly. Um, but yeah, it's quite big. First time a keyboard designer is sponsoring anyone in the, the community, I believe. So yeah, looking forward to working with key cult. So this sponsorship did not happen prior to all the number two stuff. So this happened after the number two. So this. Full disclaimer, this was in the works after the number two giveaway. Um, I guess Key Cult liked me after the number two giveaway. So yeah, we're gonna work together. Uh, what does this mean for you guys? So as you guys know, Key Cult teased on their website during the number two sale that some new keyboard is gonna come out in the summer. I'm gonna be receiving a proto of it to show you guys, as well as future Key Cult group eyes I don't know if I could reveal how many is to come at least lined up but it's, mm, yeah the board that was teased for summer we're gonna see a first here gonna build it up gonna record nice typing tests for all of key Colt's future videos and sales so yeah, looking forward to that. I will most likely also be giving input and feedback into Key Cult's future boards. So hopefully we can work together to bring you guys nicer and better products. Yeah, so Key Cult's setting the bar and standard of designers sponsoring community members. <clears throat> yeah. So, key cult, you can go to sleep now. <laughs> uh, George OTJ, thank you so much for the two months in a row. And Bits MK, thank you so much for the follow. Number three hype. Yeah, number three, number four, number five, number six. We're going to see all of those keyboards. Assuming they're still a sponsor by then. <laughs> uh, GOM, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I'm going to put this in my artisan box. Oh, also, I teased this in my Discord, but I... Look at this. Look at this. This sticker, I don't know if I want to use it. I only have one. I don't know if I want to use it. But I also got a postcard. Just send it to China and they'll copy it. But this came with this artisan I got. Oh, I can't hold it with one hand. Look at this artisan. Yo, KCON, hello! How do I have so many V2s? Look at what happened to my type beasts, though! I have one more incoming. 
lightning. <laughs> yeah. I got pretty fair, decent trades for all of the... Yeah, luckily I had a lot of type beasts. So... Yeah, I have the CMY P Wade, whatever colorway that is coming in. Any other people out there with um, Grimace V2s? Let me know. But my evil box is becoming full again. Tokopi ones, I will definitely keep for a while. And I also got a chemo. I don't know if I told chat that. Look at my chemo. Yeah, my collection slowly growing again. I'm gonna need to offload some once I get two more. But I don't, I don't know if Mr. and Mrs. Gaff. Uh, why does my chemo look different color? It's probably my white balance. Yeah, it's probably my white balance. I don't know if Mr. and Mrs. Gaff watch my streams, but I love you guys. Uh, okay, now that is the end of the unboxings. Finally get to the keyboard build. It's been an hour, I haven't even started on the keyboard. <laughs> Feels bad. I thought I was late to the board. Nope. Okay. So we are going to be using Telios. V1s. V1s too, not V2s. Are they real? Or fake? Stelios? I don't know. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate today's build is a KBD fans keyboard using Zeal Telio switches, but um, I, I have to clear out customer boards. <laughs> this person has been waiting for a while, so... <laughs> I had to complete this this weekend, I didn't time it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is the irony of today's build. We're gonna use um, Telios V1s and a KBD75 V2 keyboard. I don't think I have seen a KBD 75 V2 yet. So this is the first. Have I seen one? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Genesis 635 revealing himself. Thank you so much for the wonder bits. Already got a refund for this. Wait, you got a refund? Do you have to return these? Should I not build your board today? Are we having a scuffed build? Oh, okay, you get to use it. Oh, okay. Oh, so you got a refund and you get to keep these? Oh, what? I guess that's true. What would he do with all these fake Telios that he gets back? That is that is a good point. He can't resell the Stelios again. Start with the keyboard first. What? They just stick a keycap down here? What the heck? Why? What if this like scrapes against the board? People are actually looking for Stelios on the Myth Market. Yeah, so I've, I've never seen a KBD 75 V2 before, so it's a first. 
I'm also getting a refund on my Telio. Should I grab some Zelios 67 to replace? Well, Telios and Zelios are very different. If you want to try an insanely tactile switch, uh, I'd say go for the Zelios. <clears throat> Uh, Genesis, can you do an in-depth of the Switch if you don't mind? I want to see if we can spot any difference. Let me, let me bring my real Telios out too. Okay, so I have some real Telios. Oh, whoops. That were <laughs> lubed by Mr. Remsky. God damn it, Remsky. <laughs> so this is the real one. Oh, I also forgot. Hold on, hold on. Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. I forgot something. Uh, I have a big surprise for you guys. Uh, promo code Thai How Types. Can you guys see that? Promo code Thai How Types. Where though? HTTPS. Razor.com slash Chroma. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Switchmod.net. Get 4% off your lube. That's right, guys. Switchmod has lube back in stock, and you can use promo code TIEHOUTTYPES to get 4% off your lube purchases hurry and grab them while they are still in stock uh neatrix thank you so much for the follow project zombie thank you so much for the follow did i get i am aver i am aver thank you so much for the four months in a row okay so you guys can probably clearly tell my t greens are very off on stream. Can you guys tell a difference in stem color at all? Is there a difference in stem color? Is there a difference? I can't tell because my screen's too far. Oh wait, I'm smooth brain. I can zoom. This is KBD fans Telios. This is Zelios or Telios from Zelio. <sighs> Yeah, so you can definitely tell the plastic is different. It is indeed different. Apparently springs are different. Yeah, I saw that on the Z Frontier post too. Do 
Do I do I really need to show it or do you guys just take the Z Frontier post? Uh Lima Salas, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for another 200 bits. Bits MK, thank you so much for the tier one sub as well. Alright, Helios. Do they taste different? Uh, is there a place where you can buy pre-lube switches? Mm, no. Mm, yeah, no. You have to lube yourself, unfortunately. So this is a plate. Pretty standard. PCB. And the case, which is what we want to see. Oh, it's black. Or is it gray? Black? Gray? This could pass as a dark gray. No, it's black. Oof. It will focus. Okay, it won't focus. Pretty clean, I would say. Pretty clean. Oh, it's four dollars off, not four percent. Yeah, the Anno, pretty clean. I was always curious why that they put this. Like, what is the meaning of this? B edge? Edgy? <laughs> fake Rama? <laughs> yeah, it, it is a pretty fake Rama-y... Like this... <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, it looks nice, but... The X, at least. I don't know how I feel about these, like, bars, but... This is also questionable. Uh, Genesis, thank you so much for the 50 bits. It looks like I'm getting some rare switches of my KB. Yeah, um, but Anno wise, pretty good, pretty good. Not much you can complain about at this price point. I will say this weight uh, sticks out. I don't know if re-screwing it will make it flush, but no, I don't think it will. It's already sitting pretty flush to this case. Like there's no gap here. But you can feel you can clearly see it sticks out. <laughs> yeah. So I mean those are just the small things you get for keyboards at this price point. Oof. Came Came scuffed. There's a little nick here. But other than that, Anno feels pretty good. Let us install the bump ons first. Yeah, it's pretty minor. Although, I wouldn't. I wonder if this is from the switch they put it here. So I don't know what KBD fans was thinking. Oh no, it's not this. This they put a keycap here, and then they put this keyboard here. No, it's completely off. The, the nick is here, so it wouldn't have been the keycap, but I don't know. That's a little questionable. <laughs> 
putting a keycap like that on the bottom. Pretty questionable. Uh, 8k lol, thank you so much for the $1 tip. Hello, first time Dontang. Dontang, big fan, love watching, keep it up. I also wanted to ask, what do you think about the HKB Pro 2? I'm thinking of getting one new. What do you suggest? Would it be okay for gaming? Uh, HKB 2 is a fantastic keyboard. I own one as well. I have owned one for years. Is it good for gaming? Uh, if you don't need dedicated... If you don't need dedicated arrow keys, yes. Would I recommend getting one new? Not really. I You can get one a lot cheaper used. And you can find pretty well-kept ones on mech market. I mean, unless you absolutely can't live with the fact that it was pre-owned. Yeah, go buy it new, but... I would much rather recommend that you buy a used one for a significantly cheaper price off mech market. Oh, we have Oh Hi Diana today. Hello. Oh Hi Diana from the Oh Hi clan. Nice to see you. Keycap. Yeah, it's not the keycap. What are your thoughts on HHKB versus 87U? Are they similar in build quality? I would say the 87U feels a little bit nicer built just because it has a steel plate and it just feels beefier. The HHKB feels light. Um, neither the 87U nor the uh, HHKB really scream like, ooh, this is a premium keyboard I think but I would say the 87U has a slight edge why is my oh it's the black autofocus is just like dead I would say the 87U feels slightly more premium than the HHKB I got four dollars Jackstastic ordered 10 vials of 205 grade zero what <laughs> Yeah, HHKB, the real force has some heft to it. It is a bigger board though, so heft doesn't necessarily mean premium, but a lot of people perceive it that way. Where's the website you were talking about, the HHKB? Uh, mech Market. It's the subreddit r slash mech market. M E C K market. Okay, so we installed the bump ons. Uh, we can get to the case later. Uh, oh shoot, I need to copy this and then also paste it here. Nice. Ah, this is USB-C. cable thing let's, let's hope it's a cable thing Gria wheel thank you so much for the follow okay I think it is a cable thing I... it works okay it's a cable thing 
not not a big issue not sure why that happens if any uh ee experts or hardware electronic experts know why some pcbs like some cables and some don't i would like to know this is annoying <laughs> When some cables don't work for whatever reason with certain keyboards. Minecraft God, thank you so much for the fall. Did I miss the unboxing of the goods? Yeah, Eamsbird, unfortunately. I started off with the unboxings today. We had uh, quite a few things to unbox. Some exciting stuff, I would say. Wow, what the heck is this PCB? <laughs> huh? Genesis, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Are you gonna use the keycaps that I sent? Oh, right, you did send it. I'll use your keycaps, I'll use your keycaps. We don't have to use Modern Dolch. We have all weekend to use Modern Dolch. I will use your keycaps because we have also never used that keycap yet. I forgot you sent me. Yes, it is in the box, I forgot. Just kidding, guys. We won't see Modern Dolch on a keyboard today, but Maybe see it tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, are you gonna still put the Telios in the build? I am. I am. Okay, so the PCB works fine. Please, my phone. <laughs> Yo, Carl, but you can't complain about being flooded with orders when you tell me there's a discount code. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what layout this customer wanted. We're going normal caps lock. Going full backspace, split right shift. Okay, nice. We only need to do three steps today. Or three, two steps. Nice. -o. And motion and soapy. And thank you so much for the follows. Nice. -o is a fun word. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start modding the stabilizers. Um, by the way, I don't know if I said this already, but I know a lot of you guys have been wanting stickers. I have finally sent them to two vendors. So they should receive it sometime next week. Hopefully, can start purchasing stickers. So I don't know if you guys were interested in stickers, but yeah, they are. They will be coming soon. Hey man, what's up? I'm new to the custom mechanical keyboard. I haven't built one yet, and don't plan on building one until I go to a meetup, which unfortunately won't come to New York after. June 1st until way later and I won't be near New York on June 1st so I am going to be just buying a ducky one too many for now is that a good board um for a pre-built duckies are yeah they're okay one of the better pre-built companies I would say
Yeah, Kuroi and I have the same viewpoint. Uh, we personally like... We think Leopold make one of the best pre-built keyboards, but... I mean, there's... It depends on what you look for in a keyboard, right? Leopold aesthetics aren't liked by a lot of people. But in terms of build quality, I think Leopold is pretty up there. <laughs> Dang, Jack's Tastic already flipping 205 grade zero. Just bought a FC660C? Yeah, those are pretty nice. Pretty nice. I personally like the Leopold aesthetics. But, you know, a lot of the younger kids don't like that look. How much can I sell my used vial? <laughs> Check out the Akbo AR87. Oh yeah, I've heard good things about Akbo too. I don't know, I don't really have a reason to buy pre-builds. I would also rather not buy, use my money on pre, <laughs> pre-builds. I don't know, I feel like using the money chat gives me to buy pre-builds is kind of a waste. <laughs> what does chat think? Should I use stream money to buy pre-builds? No. <laughs> what if I buy pre-built pre-builds for the sole purpose of destroying them on stream? <laughs> now it's a yes. <laughs> buy them for reviews see i don't review pre-builds yet though like that is much more in tay keyboards territory i mean i could start going into pre-builds but i don't know the customs community is still thriving there's a lot to be learned about in the customs world I charge back you so fast. What do you mean to use your stream money on? Um, what I mean lightning is like whatever I earn from stream, like the donation subs, like I put it back into the stream. Like that's how I afforded this second cam, like my lighting, like the equipment, like I put it back into the stream. So what I was saying is, I would rather use like that kind of money to continue upping my production or something, something more, something that I think is more money wise, I guess, than pre-builds. It's good stuff. That's the way to do it. Yeah. And like, like the stabs, I, I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to pay that out of pocket without the streams, you know, lightning. <laughs> it's a, got a lot of stab. Oh, the music is bad, sorry. Oh, this music is also bad. <laughs> So we're going to start looting the stabilizers. How much does Patreon contribute compared to those regular? Uh, Patreon is probably my smallest platform. Oh wait, I was sent 
Ooh, we are not using clip-in stabs, I just noticed. Or we are not using screw-in, we are using clip-ins. Haven't seen these in a while. Mui, thank you so much for the follow. Um, yeah, Patreon is by far my smallest uh, platform, although that's kind of to be expected. Like, I'm a streamer, so people sub to me. People who sub most likely don't want to double dip on Patreon. Like, there's, there's no reason to, but some people prefer different platforms for different reasons, so that's why I have a Patreon. Uh, Beige Vest, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. The nice thing with Patreon though is I can set the tiers that I want. So that's one of the reasons why. And then, uh, yeah, I, I just have a Patreon just cause, at least for the sake of claiming my name, you know. Luckily, I had no issue claiming my name on all my social media platforms. But for some people, it's a legitimate concern. <laughs> what lube is this? This is Crytox 205 Grade Zero. Yeah, so Patreon and Twitch is kind of like interesting. So when you subscribe to a Twitch streamer, Twitch takes half of the money. But Patreon takes a lot less of the cut. So money-wise, you contribute more to a streamer or anyone else by supporting them on Patreon. But then if you subscribe to them on Patreon but not Twitch, they have a lower sub count number. Which also kind of affects you as a streamer from Twitch's standpoint. Hey Nathan, do you race car? No, I did not race car. Does the... No, no keyboard comes with stabs pre-lubed, to my knowledge. What? Reno in MO. Thank you so much for continuing the sub. Wow. I think that's the first time I've seen Young Tilla's sub being converted. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know if Young Tilla's still in chat. You, your gift went to someone who is continuing their sub now. Thank you, Young Tilla. Oh, he's still here. Nice. And Reno in MO. Uh, when is my subathon going to be? I need to like prep for it, you know. Um, I don't think I can do it this weekend. I will. I'm, I'm gonna try to do it next Saturday, most likely. I'm, I'll announce it on all my socials before I do, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try to aim for next Saturday. If that doesn't work out, then probably the Saturday after. Oh, nice, I'm always here. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if the rest of chat knows who Young Tilla is, but... This man is everywhere on Twitch. Same with Allo Ed. I see Allo in a lot of other streams. Oh, we also have Nat continuing a sub from Young Tilla. Ooh, whoa. Has it already been a month since Young Tilla started gifting subs? Maybe I haven't seen any continued subs because it hasn't been a month yet. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Aloe had its wild. Yeah, I saw you yesterday, Aloe. You were pretty wild yesterday. No, it's still 11 days. Oh, okay. Oh, so I guess it is too early for people to resub. They don't run out until the 14th, I see. Any idea on the next board? Thinking of putting GMK Olivia. 
Uh, you mean next board for yourself, Genesis? Thoughts on the Polaris? Um, I hope it turns out well. I'm sure it will. AI is a pretty smart man. Um, I'm very excited for the price point he's trying to achieve with it. And I think if he can pull it off, it's going to be... I think it's going to be a must buy. A gasket, 60% with decent quality at that price point. I think it's a must buy. My resub got drowned out during Wednesday stream. Oh, okay. Jorbulus, I'm sorry. That was my fault. It was a scuffed stream. I couldn't figure out the audio. <laughs> Also, for the, anyone in chat who has been a part of other subathons, what are like the rates streamers use? I'm trying to figure that out. So I was thinking of starting off with a base of five hours, but I don't know how much it should increase whenever someone subs or donates. And should I have like a hard cap? Every sub is one extra hour. Every sub plus one day, what the heck? 15 minutes per sub? Wait, what? Is that how people do it? 15 minutes per sub. I don't know about 15 minutes per sub. I mean, Young Tilla drops one five gift bomb. That's 15 times five. That's 70, I guess that's only an hour or 15 minutes. That's, that's kind of scary though. 15, I was thinking like three or five at most for a sub. 15 minutes, what? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not quite ready for like a 48 or 72 hour stream yet. I have a full time job, guys. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Five is average. Okay. Easy solution, quit the job. I want to. I want to stream full time, but not quite there yet to do that. Job, what job? Uh, I am a software engineer by day. And then I stream on the weekend during my free time when I should be resting, but I enjoy streaming and building keyboards. Uh, Ferret, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Okay, so Nathan, what keyboard are you using in the office? Well, I rotate all my keyboards. Currently, I'm using a RealForce 104 UG High Pro. Any tips for first keyboard build? I ordered some Holy Pandas. Uh, not much. I would say lube your switches if you already haven't. That will be the big... Lube your switches and your stabilizers. That will make the biggest difference to your keyboard. And you might end up not liking lube switches, but you can't really say that until you've tried it. I think for the most part though, most people enjoy and prefer lube switches over unlube switches. There are people out there that don't like lube switches. The 
just out of curiosity, how many keyboards would you say you have built in your lifetime? It's a good question. <laughs> Uh, we we kind of did quick maths on Wednesday, so I build on average three keyboards a week. Um, I've been doing that since like October of last year. Before that, I was building about two a week. Mm, yeah. And that's just on stream. I started streaming last July. Um, and I've built, I think I had built probably, I don't know how many beforehand. I would say, I don't know, I'd say I've probably built close to 200 keyboards, maybe. Definitely not in the 300s, but I would say somewhere around 200. I like compact keyboard, but need arrow, page up, down, home, end key. Should I go for 75 or an 1800? If you only need page up, page down, and home and end, you can go for a 75. If you don't need the full numpad, no reason to get an 1800 in my opinion. You can even go for a 65. Yeah, you could. If you don't need the uh, F row, you could even go for a 65, like Sirius said. It will cost $343.54 to get a new, a good new HHKB. Is there a bad new HHKB? Is there such a thing? Yeah, another touched HHKB is bad. See, but a Nova touched HHKB isn't new. By definition, if it is new, isn't that good? Like, how can it be new but bad? <laughs> um, are subs allowed to post links? Yeah, subs should be allowed to post links, Ferrix. Yo, Nick, hello. By the way, tomorrow's stream, I think you guys are going to want to be there. It's going to be pretty spicy board. I can reveal later if you guys want, but it's going to be a pretty spicy board. What product are you hoping to review next? Um, the Kepler looks pretty interesting. Don't think. We'll see if I get one. Uh, thermal, all the foundry boards I'm curious about too. Thermal, Jules, U80, well U80 isn't foundry but I want to know 
what is cooking up in the foundry. I also want my jeans <laughs> to arrive. Matrix. I, I've never felt a Matrix board. I don't know what they feel like. I know they're somewhat sought after, or some of them at least. I've never felt a Matrix keyboard. I would like to know what a Matrix or a Fatrix looks like, or feels like, sorry. I cannot handle this. <laughs> Is this a good and I've never heard of this company. Um, it definitely comes with a lot for the price. If you're on a budget, seems like a good option. Has everything you need for soldering and desoldering. Okay, clip and stabs. Not used these in so long. Why no band-aid, you sinner? Band-aid modding is not uh, required. I actually don't band-aid mod anymore. It's not a bad mod, that's not what I'm saying, but it's, it's preference, band-aid mod, but... Uh, I, I disagree, Drew Oz. Band-aid mod does affect the board, in my opinion. It definitely does something, but I am no longer interested in what it has to offer for me. Okay, so the 625 only fits here. It does something, but only if you bottom out really hard. That's the thing, I bottom out. <laughs> I, I bottom out when I type. And I don't really care for not bottoming out. Like I know, I don't know, is that something I should strive for? I know some, some typists swear by not bottoming out. I don't know, it doesn't, it's not something I really look to achieve. Like, I don't really feel fatigue from bottoming out. So I, I've never felt the reason to train myself to not bottom out. How's everyone's Friday? Friday night? Saturday morning? Saturday afternoon? Any exciting things coming up this weekend? Other than watching me? Probably should get to work soon. Oh man, it feels bad. It's a good day, my EPBT slate came in. Oh, nice. Where to cop the rings? I have a rings command. Blackpink's next show, <laughs> Talisman Solution says. We are going to use a special keycap set for this 
build. Ta -da. GMK Metaverse. What happened to Dolch? I forgot the customer sent me Metaverse. They took the time and effort to ship me this, so I will use it for them. Oh, it's not even opened. I, do I even need any of the... Oh, we're going to definitely need the novelties, right? So I get to open this brand new Metaverse keycap set. You know the best feeling waking up in the morning and feeling the cold aluminum case touch your hand. <laughs> you know, I I know what you mean though, Nuggy Juggy. Sometimes you wake up and the first thing you want to do is just type on your dang keyboard. I've never played Persona 5, so I have no emotional attachment to this keycap set. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't join in on it. Uh, Genesis, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Let chat choose a novelty. Yeah, I'll, I'll do novelties later. I'm just using this to uh, check the stabilizers. What is Persona 5 even about? What is that game about? It's about cheating on your girlfriend and climbing blocks in your dreams. What? Persona 5 is about cheating on your girlfriend? What? <laughs> that doesn't sound... Oh, yo, Tyler, hello. That's Cat. See, that means nothing. I've never played Persona 5, so I don't even know who Catherine is. <laughs> I can't tell if it's the switch. you know why Kepler is using a limo socket? Um, just because they can most likely. 
something novel. No one else has done it before, I think. Probably why. Can you show us the shiny plastic around the Telio PCB stem? Uh, I already did that in the beginning of the stream, pal. You can check the VOD if you want on that. Are you going to get with the Polaris? Ooh, that's hard. If I were to get one, I probably get HHKB or standard. I don't know what options are available, but <laughs> it's hard to explain Persona Five in a couple sentences. Why not? Nope, these are not screw-ins, we are going with uh, clip-ins today. Win keyless HHKB or standard? Yeah, I'd probably go... Uh, I don't know how I feel about uh, win keyless on a 60%. I feel like it looks a little awkward because... I don't know. Yeah, you could go with Inculus. I have a Winculus 60%. If I had to guess though, I feel like HHKB 60% will be the most popular one. So that matters to you. Uh, what does this bag say? So this was sent to me by Remski a long time ago. He lubed these switches for me. He called these A-Stock, aka Wayfans. Completely smooth, breaking in via foot pedal. However, I cannot seem to turn up the backlight or get the more F pen, key to a gun QMK. It says everything is programmed correctly. Yo, energy drinker, thank you so much for the two dollar tip. Uh, wow, glad congrats on getting your first custom. Cannot seem to turn off the backlight or get the ammo. Um, I, it's hard to say. To, I can't diagnose her right now with no information. <laughs> um, I joined my Discord, or you can try asking around in chat. Um, I'm sh pretty sure someone in my Discord can help you out with that. Yeah, join my Discord. Sounds better. Lubed vintage blacks definitely sound better than V1 Telios. Mm. 
Okay. We are good. It was the spring ping and not the stabilizers. Just wanted to confirm. You want to see optical switches used more in the future? Uh, I do, I do. Optical switches, if done right, can be really smooth. And they can also provide analog functionality. But there aren't many great keyboards, in my opinion currently, that do optical. Oh shoot, how do I get this? What? When did I get cut? What what cut me? Okay. How do I get cut here? The things I do for my customers. I bleed blood for them. Band-Aid <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I didn't even notice I was bleeding until... Did it get on the desk mat? No, it's not on the desk mat. Thank God. Okay, I'm gonna need it. Nice shorts. Yo, it's hot. So you haven't seen me wearing a hoodie lately too. It's too hot. I'm gonna band-aid my band-aid mod my own finger. So it doesn't get on the customer's build. Now do a sound. <laughs> um, and by the way, tomorrow I will be streaming an hour earlier than usual. So the stream's gonna start at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. Because I have to go somewhere pick up a keyboard but tomorrow's board will be very 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 spicy extremely spicy are you picking up a beam spring? no I'm not picking up another beam spring I wish Uh, I'm picking up a board for someone else. It is not my board. Are you picking up a Razer keyboard? No. Is it an EM7? No, it is not. It is not an EM. It is not on my uh, list. If that's what you're referring to, Tommy Crayons. Zombamon's Vern. No, I already teased the Vern Fire Bazooka. I would have no reason to pick it up. It is sitting in my room. I have a Vern sitting right behind me. Not a Space 65. Want to try a new linear Franken switch? What's the best? Mm, I don't know if there are a lot of linear Franken switches. Try MX Xylance if you want. MX Swires? I still haven't tried an MX Swire, Pluto. Is the Vern build tomorrow? It is not tomorrow, unfortunately. 
Is it a jet fire? No, it's not a jet fire. OTD? No. I don't think I'll ever pay for an OTD at its market price. Polaris serious? Nope. I said it's not for me. It's not for me. Typing demo so I can sleep in peace tonight. What do you mean typing demo? I'm not even close to the... I haven't even started soldering yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Polaris doesn't have a proto yet. I think. Bike pedal, thank you so much for the follow. Keystone Proto, no, not the Keystone Proto, unfortunately. Uh, I think Input Club just got theirs, so I feel like it would be a while until they start sending it out for others to review. PC or brass plate for linears? I've been liking PC a bit more as of late. Swires loves his switches. Yeah, Swires definitely plays around with switches quite a bit. I want to have Swires on my stream, guys. I've been bugging Chris. I've bugged Chris a couple times, but he refuses to go on stream on camera. Feels bad. Maybe if enough of you guys bug him, I can have him on. But yeah, he just, he's very camera shy. He doesn't want to be on stream. He said if we're ever like in person, I think he said he could stream with me in person IRL, but he doesn't want to webcam me. I guess I could just have his voice, but that's not fun. I want to see his face. I don't know how many of you guys know what Chris looks like, but interviews are a lot more fun when you can actually see the person. Manny, hello. I found out about you a while ago and just found your stream again. Oof. Glad you're here. Voice is better than nothing. That's true. I've been subscribed long before you started streaking <laughs> and making tutorials. You're amazing. Keep it. Thank you, man. Man, that's crazy. That's... <clears throat> That's over a year ago. I would I would like to get back on the YouTube grind, but just no time. I wonder how long if I ever went full time, I could just do keyboard stuff. Like if I went full time, I wouldn't stream every day. I think I would still stream at least three times a week, maybe four times a week. But I would. If I went full-time, I would definitely focus on making YouTube videos as well. Like there, there are still, there are so many tutorials I can make, so many guides, so many reviews. Just don't have the time though. These are those, these are, oh yeah. I 
an oof counter? I say oof too many times. See, why don't you quit your job and do that? Because it doesn't make me, it doesn't bring me in enough money. <laughs> And I don't think the stability is quite there yet for me to risk doing that. I mean, the community is definitely growing, so the potential is there, but I have too many bills to pay for right now to go full time. So you get a side gig where you cut your vintage. What? Does Remsky still do lube orders? I believe so. I'm not sure. I haven't personally asked him for a lube order myself in quite a bit. I, I haven't heard that he's closed down. What should I use to loop holy pandas? I would say Crytox, not Crytox. Uh, Trebosis 3 till 4 at the thickest. 3 till 3 is a good one. Uh, 103, 102, VPF 1514. All good choices. How did you learn to make keyboards? I uh, started off on the subreddit, mechanical keyboards. And then just kind of experimented from there talked to a lot of people learned my way around just kind of trial and error hey Nathan I love you 3000 oof the feels the feels man no spoilers I mean I've seen it but I guess for the rest of chat. So what is your preference on loop for holy pandas, Archer? I would say three till three. Go with three till three. Uh, Bunny Lord 12, thank you so much for the follow. Body good, thank you so much for the follow. What do you do as a software engineer, by the way? Uh, I do platform and build infrastructure work currently. Although that's not what I was brought on for, but that is a priority in my company right now. How many keyboards do you think you have made since you first started? Uh, we talked about this earlier. I would say around 200, give or take 10, 20. Uh, Firefox, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good night. Keep okay, going, split right shift. How's your day? My day is going pretty well. Well, my day is over mostly. It's 10 o'clock where I am. Have you tried Crystal 129 for Holy Pandas? I have not. Any of the new GMK interest checks you're interested in? Ooh, man, I was watching Top Clack this week. Holy moly, there are so many interest checks. Like what? 
how are people gonna afford all of these keyboards if they all go into group buy? It's just crazy times, you know. Um, I don't know. Nothing really. When I saw all the interest checks, I don't think any of them were a wow must buy instantly for me. person what does this person do oh shoot oh crap oh are you a gamer Yuli T uh, I'm sorry let me get your question uh, what lube would you recommend for a uh, round two topra for lubing topra I would also recommend retail four at the thickest for stabilizers you can use 205 grade zero though yeah but for just switch wise I would say three to four at the thickest What lube do you recommend for linear such as Telios and Novel Keys Cream? Uh, literally preference for linears like those. My preference is something thick. Mm -hmm. I pref I like 205 grade zero. It's silence and it feels great, but the stabilizers are so rattly. Yeah, um, you're gonna... So if you're talking about just the stabilizer, like the wire part where the wire's rattling, I would use 205 grade zero or something thick like dielectric grease on it. Yeah. All right, it's gonna get a little noisy because we're gonna start soldering. Oh, is my fan dead. You game with Topra Ulit? Is that how is that how you pronounce your name? Uli Ulit? 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 Ah, mm. uh, Ulit. Depends on if you like speed or control. Okay, what, what keyboard do you use for speed and what keyboard do you use for control? Yeah, what games do you play? I couldn't... My browser was lagging so I couldn't tell what exactly it was. How can I tell if my retool blacks are a good bass without building it in the board? Uh, no real way to tell unless you have experience with good vintage, with good retold blacks. You can only tell if a switch is scratchy or bad or not. If you know what a good retold black feels like. like. Unless you have a reference point, you can't really tell. Yeah, it's really good with the APC. I play FPS games. Oh! I also used to play 
FPS games with Topra. Not the R2. I used to play with the Real Force uh, 104 Hypro Yuji. 45 grand. Really heavy handed Topa has been nice to play with. That's, that's glad to hear another gamer representing Topa. Topa is my first love. How did you get your username Tea Types? Lil Tea? Uh, Teha is my Korean name. And Types because it also started with a T. And it was somewhat keyboard related, but it could be somewhat vague. I don't know. <laughs> my One of my friends actually, I was brainstorming with them on what to name my Instagram they were like Tia Types I was like that's not too bad that's how it started <laughs> I did I wasn't always Tia Types I started off just using my real name or my English name sorry Nathan Kim uh, I don't know if I don't know how many of chat was there for those days when I was just Nathan Kim but the initials NK, it confused a lot of people because novel keys as already existed at the time. So that was a little bit confusing. So I decided to rebrand Teha Types. I, I like the rebrand though, I think Teha Types. I like the ring of it. I like Teha is a Decently, it's not too common of a name, I would say. I want it to be unique. What about feel good music? Oof, that's even older. Uh, Flame Not Memory Castle 100 Rats. Thank you so much for the follow. Yo, Joe Cool Bob, thank you so much for eight months. In a row. Uh, why did you stop band aid modding? Besides preference, does it change feel? It does change the feel if you bottom out. Um, but I decided that I don't like. It's not that I don't like. It's just my preference has changed. When I first started off, I wanted my I wanted my stabilizers to be as soft and quiet as possible when I started off. But now I prefer loud, obnoxiously annoying stabilizers that sound clean. It's just changing preferences. I used to not always be a linear guy too. I'm sure most people aren't when they start off. But you give linears a good try. And a lot of people's preference change. I mean I still like tactiles and I use tactiles, but when I first started off in the hobby I did not like linears. But I forced myself to use it for a good couple months. 
and do a throw on my Yeah, for me, linears weren't a love at first sight. It took me some time for me to appreciate and like linears. I used linears for about a year, then went tactile. Yeah, everyone, everyone has different stories and preferences. <coughs> it's just about finding what you like. So now that we are soldering, it's time to recognize some of my sponsors. I'm gonna skip cable car while they're closed because it's kind of a tease to shout them out only to realize you can't order from them. My guy lives a dangerous life working on a white net. How do you keep it so clean? Oh, I just unboxed this today. I'm not gonna continue using this. Yeah, I just unboxed it earlier on stream. <laughs> um, yeah, the first sponsor we have is Dixie Mech. If you guys haven't seen, GMK Mizu is live. And man, do those renders look dank. I am in on Mizu. I'm also in on the two desk mats for Mizu. I think they look fantastic. They do have an affiliate link with Dixie Mech, so please consider using that if you want to help support the channel. Um, yeah, all of my sponsors and affiliate links are linked in my panel down below. So please consider using them. Uh, Dixie Mech will be one of the two vendors that will be stocking my stickers. So Dixie Mech, one of them. Keep your eyes peeled for when Dixie Mech announces you can purchase it from him. But yeah, GMK Mizu looks fantastic. Um, one of the few blue sets out there currently. So consider joining if you like what you see. <clears throat> the next sponsor we have is KBD Fans. This kit that we are using, switches and keyboard, is from KBD Fans. I believe the pre-order for the Mark II is finished, but you can still purchase it, I think. Sorry, the, I think the group buy for it is finished. You can still purchase it. Um, KVD Fans has tons of budget-friendly options. I'll consider checking them out. Um, I know the whole KBD fans for Zeal stuff is going on. I am still going to give it a couple more days for everything to settle until both parties have had a decent amount of time to come out with statements. And then I'll, we will decide on the future <laughs> of my sponsorships with them. Uh, Zeal stated that he talked with Gatoron today and that Gatoron will be coming out with a statement themselves on all this. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely wait for that at least before I make any kind of judgment or whatever. So yeah. I know you guys are all curious. Don't have much to say on it yet. Uh, next up we have Oh, it's not Kono anymore. It used to be Kono, but now we have Kikult. Uh, Kikult doesn't have a lot of in-stock items right now. <laughs> but you can definitely expect more 
dank boards to come out of Key Cult. Oh man, I already know what the next board looks like. But I can't share it with you yet. Well, you guys can definitely expect to hear my opinions and thoughts and get a build stream of future Key Cult keyboards. If you guys haven't bookmarked Key Cult and joined their newsletter, do they have a newsletter? Yeah. Go, go sign up right now. Alright, the next sponsor we have is Kono from Kono.store. I believe SA Arcane went live this week. Um, if you aren't signed up for the newsletter for Kono, the Keystone specifically, they stated that they received the proto this week. It's exciting to see that project move along. Hopefully it goes smoothly for them. Yeah, tons of stuff you can pick up at Kono.store. Uh, you can join in on SA Granite as well. GMK9s. You can pick up the Heavy Barracks keyboard as well as um, the Cura keyboard. So head on over to Kono.store. Uh, next up, we have Novel Keys over at novelkeys.xyz I do have a discount code with them um, it is a reusable code on all future orders NK space types gets you 5% off on all purchases on all in stock item purchases from Novel Keys it doesn't work on currently live group buys unfortunately but if it's an in stock item that is not in group buy you can apply it <clears throat> uh, GMK Striker is currently live on Novel Keys. Zombumon is a good friend of Tia Types. Please show some love and support for Mr. Zombumon. Go and join GMK Striker. The base set starts off at $99, I think. Yeah. Uh, tons of switches also available on Novel Keys. All these nice desk mats you see on stream also from Novel Keys. And some are from Dixie Mech. And Novel Keys is the second vendor that will also be stocking my stickers. So consider supporting whoever is more local to you to save to get the cheapest shipping. Um, yeah. So Dixie Mech and Novel Keys will be stocking up on my stickers. And last but not least, we have Zeal over at zealpc.net, where you can get some legitimate Telios, or you can get some legitimate Zelios. And sometimes keyboards and KitKats. Uh, I do have an affiliate link with Zeal as well, so consider using consider using a legitimate affiliate link to purchase your legitimate Zeal switches. It is zealpc.net slash types. That switch mod code is amazing. Yes, and also, I don't know if you guys, is that visible? Or currently, switchmod.net has provided a promo code. Use promo code Taihao Types to get, uh, should be $4, I believe, not 4%. I think it's you get $4 off your loot purchase. So head over to switchmod.net. That's where I get all my Crytox loot from. $4 off.
how many boards do you own that aren't customer builds? Um, if you do exclamation point inventory, it should give you a link to a Google Doc. That is a spreadsheet of what I currently own. Yo, is there apocalypse? Hello? about your fan today is really screwing with your mic uh, what's up with it yes but why my audio settings changed slightly because I messed around with it during the podcast what's different about the mic today is it clipping is my mic clipping Can you explain to me the difference in similarity between Band-Aid modding and not? Uh, it will acoustically mute your stabilizer sound a bit. It won't be as loud. It won't be as clacky. Um, Feel-wise, some would say it feels a little bit mushier depending on how hard you bottom out. about it sounds like the fan noise is clipping but your voice is fine that is a possibility I did raise the gain on my mic I mean hmm, it doesn't look like my mic is clipping though you might just be hearing more of my fan probably I desperately need an audio interface I want a mixer I don't know if this is enough I don't know if this has a mixer but I want like a, a mixer with all sorts of tracks and dials maybe this does have that functionality and I just haven't looked into it Favorite Zelio V2 weight, 67 is pretty nice, or 62. I use voice meter, banana, and software for mixing. Hmm, okay, so I mean like my baby face comes with total mix, so I haven't really had the chance to play around with it yet. I feel like it can do what I want, I just haven't looked into it. Like what do you guys do on voice meter? Why do you guys need all these audio controls for? Ed Potts, thank you so much for the follow. It makes a crappy mic sound so much better. How does it do that? What? What, Ed? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the raid, Ed. Came at a pretty good time. I'm like halfway done soldering. A little more than halfway. 
How was your stream, man? I hope it went well. Thank you so much for the. Oh gosh, there's so many fall. <laughs> Thank you so much for the the raid. Uh, raid sound is Alps. No, it is not. It is not Alps that you just heard. Try again, my friend. That was pretty awesome. I saw you were playing Minecraft before I started streaming. I don't know if you went back to Osu or you just stuck with Minecraft. Any Persona 5 fans in chat? We have a Persona 5 themed keyboard today that we're gonna build. Uh, almost we're like 80% done with the build. So if you guys stick around for a little bit longer, you guys can see the finished product. Futaba is best girl. No idea what that means. I literally know nothing about Persona 5 other than that it's a game. Yo, Beast Troll, did you hear about Whoops and how many keyboards he's ordered from me? <laughs> oh, what's up, Enyoti? Whoops as in Beat Saber Whoops. Oh, you know him, Berserk Pop Whoops. Yes. Whoops is already a client of mine we've been uh, doing the DMing I slid into his DM also whoops slurps did not know that we're like slurp buddies he was in chat earlier today but I guess it's late for him. Well, it's also late for Ed, but his sleeping schedule is screwed up on a whole nother level. Yeah, he is East Coast, I believe. Is this a 70? Yeah, it is a 75%. Ed, this is the uh, KBD Fans 75 version 2. Actually looks really nice. Ooh. Do you order to Portugal? Uh, I can as long as the customer pays shipping for it. Although the international shipping fee would be pretty high. I believe the customs is also pretty high for Portugal, right? What is a good spring weight for Holy Panda, your preference? Uh, I like 67 gram. That's a good, pretty good weight. Also, Ed, if you wanted some lube, I have a promo code with switchmod.net right now. That's where I get all my lube from it's not four percent you get four dollars off if you order right now he's back in stock young tillet do you order to orange county yo i do the orange county depending on the time of the year or how rushed you are i can locally meet up with you what website uh, right here switch where my hand is switchmod.net Okay, 
right, let us put on. Uh, okay, so I have no idea what these pictures mean. But which space bar should I use, chat? Do I use a red space bar, black space bar? The hell is this? A mask? Eye mask? Or is this some like cyber bunny? Cyber cat? I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> use the mask, this? A red mask? <laughs> some weep shit TV. <laughs> red mask? Black mask. Well, okay. So the base set is black and white. So I feel like we should go with the red mask. Right? Red mask? I say we go with red mask. What is this set called? This set is called GMK, oh shoot, Metaverse. What lube would you recommend for Holy Pandas plus clones? I would say 3204 at the thickest. Yeah, so either get 3204 or 3203 from Krellbit's website, or switch mod. 3203 is less thick than 3204. But 3204 is the absolute thickest I would use on a Holy Panda build. Okay, so where are my shifts? Oh, I haven't done space but Backspace. Is there a backspace novelty on this? There is not. There is no backspace. What is the switch mod discount? Right here, promo code Taihao types gets you four dollars off, not four percent. Four dollars. Yeah, there's no backspace novelty, so we're gonna stick with this one. <clears throat> Purse lock and X backspace. What? X backs? What are you talking about, lightning? There is also no left shift. Oh? Nah. What size is this? P sure that's an enter. HHKB delete. You kept. Lightning, I have no idea what you're saying. HHKB delete icon. Where is the HHKB delete icon? Why are bottom row missing? Uh, this is going to use some funky bottom row, so I haven't, I need to look, check back on the way out. Uh, when are you in OC? I'm in OC for the major holidays, Young Tilla. At least guaranteed, so Thanksgiving, Christmas, I'm guaranteed. The rest is a toss up. <laughs> Depends on what I have going on in the year. So, yeah. Just FYI, it is 4%. Oh, it is 4%. Okay, chat was trolling me and saying it was 4 bucks. The R2 1.5 backspace icon is the worst, and also the purse lock. Oh, yes. I know. I know. 
I agree with you. I sold my set because of that. I didn't join it. I mean, it's a great set, but I have no personal attachment to Persona 5, so that's why I did not join it. But it turned out nice. I'm, I think a lot of people are happy with their Persona, uh, not Persona, <laughs> their uh, Metaverse set, so. Where is short shift? Okay. Short shift, arrow key. Are there any arrow key? Ooh. Okay, do we go red arrows or black arrows? What does chat say? So the arrow key goes here. Red arrows or black arrows? Oh, I see a lot of red actually. Okay. Guess I'm opening another set. So many, so many new GMK sets I've opened today. What is that knife? I have a knife command if you are interested. Okay, so I know we're not done, but we need to check for straightness on these modifier keys. That's why I am partially putting switches on. Oh crap. trying to get everyone on the GMK EVA hype train. Also, I have no attachment to that set or whatever that theme is. <laughs> okay, and then let me see what bottom row. So we're going one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five. <laughs> Ooh, what do we use for the one two fives? So we'll go control. Ooh, there's some one two fives here. One two five, one two five. to get you the OG lightning. <laughs> Nathan, did you like GMK Minimal and GMK Metropolis? I did, I did. Dang it, both of these switches are bent. But, I did like them, but I own too many GMK sets, so I did not join in on it. Like a responsible adult. Ah. I liked it, but because of what I already own, they weren't like wow enough for me. Like I already have GMK Pristine. There's no real reason for me to buy minimal in my opinion. It is a different shade, but not like, it's not a must. You know what I'm saying? I'm really picky on what my first GMK set will be. I, I think that's most people though, Beast Troll. Like it's, if it's your first set, it's a lot of money at first. 
like, up, okay, up, objectively, GM keycaps are expensive. And it's your first one, so you want it to count. And then you just get desensitized. You're just like, I already own five GMK sets. Psh, I'll just get another sixth one. Take my money, GMK. That's what ends up happening. Uh, got any extra Mr. Sleeves? They all sold out. The extras already sold out, unfortunately. Uh, Genesis, thank you so much for another 10 bits. This is my first set, really expensive, but I think it was worth it due to me relating to Persona. So yeah, so like Metaverse, it has a theme. So that's gonna draw a certain audience, right? So first set is personal. You want your first set to be like, wow. And then you taste the goodness and you're like, all right, I did one build. Now I wanna do a differently themed build. And you fall down the rabbit hole. So, so just changes, you know? <laughs> okay, let me solder in this bottom row. And then we gotta check it for straightness. The same thing happens with keyboards too. You buy one or two, and then you just kind of become desensitized. There, there's a ton of buyer's remorse and internal rationalization you try to do. I think. What mat is that? Yo, Evan, what's up? This is the uh, milkshake desk mat that was on Novel Keys. I think they're sold out though, GG. They went live earlier uh, this week, last week? Late last week, I forget. Let's see how straight these keycaps are. I sniped four of the Varmillo desk. <laughs> Why four? That's a lot. Let's see how straight this is. Oh shoot, it's surprisingly straight. What? Uh, Marcel the tryhard, thank you so much for the follow. I'll get to all the follows from Ed's raid afterwards, sorry, hold on. Just waiting for it to die out. You know, this is actually pretty straight. Impressive. This is... Oh wait, I'm missing a cap. Hmm, pretty straight except for enter and pipe key. Pretty, pretty impressive. Or maybe I just got lucky. Do you want to try the no red novelties on bottom left side and see what that looks like, Genesis? Yeah, I could do that for you. I am. I just put these on for the sake of testing straightness. 
once I straighten these out, we can put on whatever we want. Uh, enter still needs a little bit more. Oof. Does Twitch say I have 420 viewers? Are we at the maximum dank viewership? This enter though, giving me a little bit of trouble. Like just ever so slightly crooked. <laughs> this is what happens when I watch Nathan's stream. What do you mean? What happened? Oh, watching your stream so often has screwed up my schedule. What do I do? <laughs> it's straight. Now, now I over straightened it. It's too straight now. Street. Good now. Gets a little too zoomed. So this is the KBD seventy five V two. The key to the right of the space bar is off. No, I think it's just a space bar. Like the space bar, it's like, like the space bar curves in. Okay, this is what the bottom of the keyboard looks like. It's all these marks, it's in my fingerprints. It's just kind of inevitable with a matte black case like this. It has an aluminum weight. Boom. angle it's pretty it's got a pretty nice anode to it why is a doggo barking at 11 Stock switches, Remski. Well, 
these sh screws are actually really short. What are your thoughts on the Think 6.5? I personally don't like the blogger on it, but that's an aesthetic issue. Oh, I hope it turns out well. Diffuser. Is this a 65%? No, this is a 75%. We're gonna have to peel this. Uh, hold on. This is some dank late night ASMR. Oh no! <laughs> F. No. I also don't have nails right now, so I can't like. What? Oh, it's these holes. These holes screwed me over last time too. No! Oh, Christopher, hello, you're back. Uh, when are the interviews, by the way, Christopher? I saw you were practicing on your stream. I stopped by earlier today. And so, what happens now? I know you made it to top sixteen. What? How does? How is top eight chosen? Is it just an interview? Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh shoot. Okay. Finish this side, okay. Now for the other side. Dang it, these holes always getting in the way. Oh, that one was a clean one. It's at 12. Okay, okay, yeah. So once you peel off all that brown stuff, you're left with this clear acrylic case that should diffuse the LED light better. Okay, this is also a tray mount keyboard. And I blocked some of the tray mount holes because of the keycaps. Let's get the music back on. It's tomorrow at 2. Ooh, best of luck, Chris. So is it solely the interview that determines who moves on next? Nothing else? Well, I'm, I'm guessing it's a culmination of the previous rounds too, but... The interview is the only new thing. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it is their choice at the end of the day. But I meant like, you don't have to submit anything like that. Oh, 
Hmm. I have too much stuff from all these unboxings. And I forgot where I put the screws. Ah, I found it. Now we just sweet talk our way in. <laughs> yeah, I hope it goes well though. Man, we today has been a a blessed stream. We have we had so many famous other famous partnered streamers come by. Pretty rare that such a thing happens. Yeah, I mean, we got Beast Troll MC, we got Ulit, we got Christopher Yi, we got Slightly Musical who stopped by earlier. What do you mean? I don't stream once a month. Oh, oh so I was, I took last week off Christopher Yi. I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I generally stream th three times a week. Wait, what? Does this not fit the hole? Chubies, and now I'm here. Oh, hello, Chubies. How'd your stream go? Chris Cables, yo, what the? Chris Cables, hello, glad to have you on stream. Why is your Twitch name not Chris Cables? Now I have to remember this. Run, de run Deploy, that is Chris Cable. Oh, Chris Cables, I've also been meaning to talk to you. I, I need to talk to you. I'm gonna slide into your DMs later. Or you can slide into mine if you want. I need to, I need to talk to you. There is no mounting point there. Okay, so I took that off for no reason. Uh, this is magnetized. I think the screws aren't magnetized. I just magnetized all my screwdrivers before stream started but uh not working out too well i'm gonna guess the screws aren't i don't know christopher yee why is flipping such a no-no in the keyword community are y'all not allowed to make money Ooh. chris asking a deep question Hold on, let me try to put this. Why won't this screw in? This is why I don't like tray mount. Where are the rest? This. Christopher, I I come from like I've done sne I've been a sneakerhead I've done streetwear uh, I I have I've done a lot of other hobbies so I mean flipping I I'm fine with it I don't want to say I'm fine but like it's something that I know exists everywhere but the thing with the keyboard community is that. 
it's been very small for the past couple years like it's been really small um, so the community has kind of self-policed itself um, if you are blatantly caught flipping it's, it's pretty publicly known and it spreads quickly and people will call you out on it and you get witch hunt you get witch hunted so like there is a sense of community that still exists um, but the keyboard community has seen a, a like a huge explosion as of late. Uh, what some people some people would say there is a uh, a Cambrian explosion, something like that, uh, within the keyboard community. So there's all these tons of people coming in, and I think it's some of the old people they, who still want to cling on to it and police it as much as possible. I think that's what it is. A lot of PC builders. Yeah, a lot of PC builders. Um, it still hasn't really, I don't like no major tech reviewer has gotten into custom mechanical keyboards. The only few that I can think of are Dave 2D and Unbox Therapy, but they just use a mass drop, or sorry, they use a drop control keyboard, which they market it as a $1,500 keyboard, but that's really only because of all the accessories they attach to it. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, Random Frank P, probably the biggest YouTuber who actually knows a thing or two about the custom scene and actually does custom stuff. But a lot of like smaller tech reviewers that are popping up, I feel like, are somewhat trying to, I don't want to say capitalize, but like they're, they are getting into the custom scene too. Like I found out about that one guy you t told me about, Christopher Philip or something. I forgot what his name was. Uh, Bad Seed Tech. It seems like he's into custom keyboards. Uh, Brandon Taylor, I know, is also, he's not, none of, Either of them aren't like hardcore into custom mechanical keyboards, but they at least dabbled in it and they tried it out. Uh, Linus Tech Tip also built a custom keyboard. I know that. And, oh crap, I'm forgetting someone. Someone else also did custom keyboard stuff. Uh, oh yeah, Snazzy. Snazzy also did a custom build. That was really cool to see. I commented on that. He replied back to me. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's I think it's gonna grow. There's there's tons of rooms for people to come in and realize what it's about. Um, so a lot of the old people, not old in the sense of who have been in the hobby for a while, you know, they're just trying to cling on to whatever nice history we've had. And it's just uh, coming to terms with it, I think. Christopher, you should do a uh, custom mechanical keyboard video. <laughs> if you guys don't know Christopher, he is, I believe, like the master of... Are you only focused on budget end stuff? Or do you also dabble... No, you also dabble in high end stuff. Because you, you spent a lot of money on PewDiePie's computers. Kind of sucks to put it that way. Coming to terms with it is like saying that what other communities do is what should be acceptable, and I don't, and I don't really think that's true. Yeah, that is also a good point, Miago. Just because it's prevalent in other mainstream hobbies like sneakers or high-end fashion doesn't mean that it's okay. Oh yikes! This diffuser. It's not straight. Mm-hmm. 
Why are these screws not magnetic? Uh, also, sorry, I missed Genesis. Do you think we could play the Persona 5 OST? I think it would fit the theme. Also, the music is quite chill. Uh, okay, I am I am open to that. Can anyone link me? Persona 5 OST. Yeah, I know it's copyrighted. It's okay. This video just won't get monetized. Yeah, but it's it's cool to see the community grow. Like, I mean, Random Frank P put out a video today that uh, that gave a shout out to some well-known community members. So that's gonna bring a lot of exposure to them. It's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Can you guys hear the music? Is it too loud? A bit loud. Uh, Alec, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Okay, <sighs> we straightened the acrylic diffuser to the best of our abilities. Tolerance is slightly off on it, unfortunately. Yeah, this sounds like some kind of like detective game. Persona 5, a detective game. Your ears? Why do your ears? Why do you say ears? I have a McFerrin. That song was aight. One Piece anime, or One Piece OST, way better in my opinion. Okay. What is your favorite anime? Dude, One Piece, Pandemon Pandemonium. Can't beat One Piece and Gota. It's just too smart. Okay. Give these. Towards a final tightening. Okay. Okay, finally we can put on the rest of the keycaps. You guys ready for what this board finally looks like? Before we do that, I am a mess today. I had way too much stuff to unbox. Okay, we're gonna save the rest of these screws. Play this. Oh crap, how do I close the other one? Interesting, the F row is all black. We don't see that too often. So we're using the Persona 5 themed GMK Metaverse keycap set. Let's use this eyeball for escape. Oh, there's a red. Ah. 
I am smooth brain. I did not see this. Dang, I'm legit opening all three novelty keycap packs today. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Is this the way? Did she just say E high? Okay, song number two. E high as in like the Korean singer, E high. How do you feel about Hunter x Hunter? Ooh, so that's another anime I would like to watch. I've heard good things about it. But uh, until I am caught up with One Piece, I am not watching any other anime. <laughs> yeah, I've heard great things about Hunter x Hunter. It's definitely on my list to watch. Well, One Piece is just too goat, man. What episode am I on? I believe I am in the 700s. I am in the uh, Dressrosa arc. Uh, I didn't watch any last week. Crap, what part was I? Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, Do Flamingo just made his bird cage, and then uh, Pika was revealed. Yeah. Uh, so what should we put here? What does chat say? What should we put on these? Okay, let's start with this first. So we can either use these three keycaps. Uh, we could also use... So these are the options we could use down here. Or we could also use this diamond. One, two, three. What to put in slot one? One, two, three, four for slot one. Am I a heathen if I like Lube MX Browns? Nope, I like Lube MX Browns. Put one on slot one, okay. What do I put for slot two? One, two, or three? Oh, Trina, hello! I can't yell tonight because it's too late. <laughs> But hello. <laughs> black diamond. Oh, black diamond is also an option. One, two, three, four for this slot. See a lot of two, threes and twos. A lot of fours now. Oh, this is pretty split. See a lot of fours and threes. One, two, three, four. So you guys want, you guys don't want these. It seems like it's either between the diamonds. You need to balance the red side of the board by adding one more black. One more black. Four. Okay. I think the majority of chat wanted the black diamond. Now we move 
Are we okay with these two? We could also use these like cat cat. I don't know what the heck those are. Or we can use more masks. Are these different profile? No, it's the same profile. Replace a catchy with partner. I have no idea what that means, Jetstream. I don't. I, I don't know anything about Persona Five. <laughs> Oh, we, we could also use these. We could use I am. The heck is this? Okay, pair number one, pair number two, pair number three, pair number four. What, what to put for these two slots? One, two, three, four. Mm, I see a lot of ones. I think one wins. It's a pretty clear one. All you weebs who watch Persona 5. Okay. Um put for here so this is an option these little swirls are an option should we just do this red red black and then insert home page up page down no delete page up page down fn you need an FN key. Page down. Page up. Uh, delete. Try red diamond instead of black real quick. I like this. You guys want red diamond instead of black diamond? Eh, I don't I don't personally like accented windows keys to be honest I don't like when the windows key is different like this yeah I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that <laughs> this ain't it chief I think the windows key if it exists should match with the control and alt it's not my cup of tea Those red F keys ain't doing it. I like the red F keys. You guys think I should switch it back to black? No, I'm, I am not tie out. Yeah, I like the red F keys. I think it needs that contrast. Holy moly, my room is so messy right now. Gonna have to spend like an hour cleaning up all this. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the final build? So this is the KBD 75 V2 today that we built with a GMK Metaverse keycap set. Have you worked with membrane? What do you mean by worked? I own membrane keyboards, but you can't really build a membrane keyboard, I think. The bottom row alignment is still triggering. The bottom row is straight in person. I think that the space bar is like curving in. That's the problem. You see how that white space bar curves in? It's the space bar. And like it has a curve. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> My USB is too fat. This always happens with my USB-C cable. <sighs> what happened, brother? Hmm. Any USB-C cables avail? Hold on. I don't have the one USB cable I have, my PCB does not like for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Saved. Yo, look at this. This red underglow is perfect. The color, at least. I mean, let me lower the brightness a little bit. Right, let's just turn off the light. What is this dead sp Oh, it's a little bit weaker, I'm guessing because of the SMD component placement, but... Yo... I have no idea what Persona 5 is about, but... I say the red goes pretty well. Does this tickle the fancies of all you weebs in chat? Pretty nice! Let me stop the music. Should I do the typing test with the light off or on? Ooh, should we add some extra RGB with this keyboard? Oof. Any gamers in chat that like this RGB? RGB! Okay. Off, light off. Okay, I'll do a typing test with the light off. Okay, so today's build, we have the KBD 75 V2 built with stock Telios V1s. That's it. <laughs> uh, rocking a GMK Metaverse keycap set. Uh, what keyboard is that one? I have a keyboard command ULIT if you're ever interested in what keyboard. For future reference but this is a tgr a17 keyboard oh wait shoot i forgot to start the bot hold on let me start the bot so mods can start it for you guys 
Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, I also, holy, I never tested that this board worked. We should do that first. <laughs> hmm, I assembled this without checking that the board, oh. I might have forgot to solder that. <laughs> yeah. I got a little too ahead of myself today. Okay, board works. I'm pretty sure I didn't solder that on. So I will check that after the stream. <laughs> But now we can go back to this. Uh, let me start the bot for my mods. Uh... Okay, the bot is active. If mods can start the bot for the typing test, but any mods avail? Ooh, Alec, thank you for starting it. So place your bets, everyone, on what you think I'm gonna get for my typing test. And if you guess correctly, you will be placed in the Worst Per Minute Hall of Fame, which I have linked in the FAQ panel. If you can guess correctly five times, one of my mods will send out a plushie to you. Start from this angle first. Keep in mind, my finger got injured today, so that might affect my typing. No longer taking guesses. You guys ready? You guys ready? This, this feels uncomfortable, not gonna lie. I can't bend my finger as comfortably because the band-aid gets in the way. Because the <laughs> Let's see how many readings it takes today. Three, two, one. Ah, shh. Read the read read. Read the read read. Three, two, one. Read the read. Thirty-ones. Oh, we have a couple. Pandemonium, Simonic, Corbin Dallas, Stem Shady. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's see what these Stelios sound like. Mods, at least. So you can definitely hear the, the spring ping, a lot of the spring ping.
sounds kind of hollow. I don't think I can fit a shelf liner. It's just the nature of a tray mount. Stock Telios. Very bad. <laughs> In terms of noise, you hear so much and just noise. Feel wise, great though. Stock Telios, very smooth. Like stock Telios are extremely smooth with linears. But spring noise is definitely quite noticeable. What are your opinions on RO59 TMKT? What is TMKT? Uh, RO59 I've only used on linear switches and Alps. It, it does a good job for what it is. I personally prefer wet lube though, but I think RO59 is great for Alps. Uh, how big of a difference do you feel between a lubed HHKB and non-lube? A huge difference. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know TMKT was the ending for RO59. I've only known it as RO59 without all the ending fluff. Where's the 168? <laughs> hmm. But yeah, that was a typing test. Let's do, let's do one more without guesses though. I'll just do one more so you guys can hear it. Oh, read the read the capsule gone, capsule gone. Read the read read. This is the board, everyone. Um, what is the thin loop from Techies? They only sell, uh, it's a discontinued product that's no longer sold. sold. I have no idea what it was. It was a mix of something. Also, it's discontinued so people shouldn't get it. It only has one year shelf life and it's likely that any remaining stock. That is true. I do know about the one year shelf life. I didn't know it was completely dis discontinued though. Yeah, the build looks fantastic. Stock Telios feels smooth. Um, in terms of feel, you you can't really feel the difference between a fake Telios and a real Telios. I'm, I think they feel the same. <laughs> it's pretty smooth. I don't have V1 Telios to compare with stock. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking of getting some for a TK. What's your favorite percentage for a keyboard? The TKL is my favorite percentage. So 80%. 
how much the cheapest custom keyboards cost. You can build a custom keyboard for as cheap as a hundred for everything, I think. Can you test A17? I could do that. I will test the A17 for you, Evan. You guys want to hear the A17? Who wants to hear the A17? It's honestly one of my favorite boards. Layered acrylic. Not the prettiest looking in my opinion, but uh, the just this build, it's so nice. Okay, so for reference, this is what the KBD just for reference so you guys get some idea of the sound difference <laughs> because I, I do have my gain up so all right ready oh you can't see this so this is built with MX, okay, there you go. MX Xilinx lubed with VPF 1514 switch filmed and 70 gram springs. Okay, three, two, and this is also using a five millimeter acrylic plate. Three, two, I can't see, hold on. Oh, we do, we do, we do. Hear the space bar? Once again, for reference, I'm going to go really hard. webs what how did I end up in a Chinese website okay okay buddy <laughs> yeah my TGRA 17 I love it I love it I wish it was injection molded. That's the only gripe I have about it. Like the thing with layered acrylic keyboards, you can see the layers. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. I am of the camp that doesn't like it. I think it looks cleaner when it's injection molded, but otherwise it's fantastic. 
don't know if you guys can see. You can't see. Well, the plate has TGR engraved on it. You can't see it. On the bottom. So uh, I built this initially with my C3 PCB that also had per key RGB. It died on me. <laughs> so I had to, I rebuilt this with a uh, TX87 PCB. That's why you only see the underglow. It kind of looks nice though, especially on my desk with like a white desk mat or even on my glass one, like the, the light diffuses very nicely. Yeah. Okay, let's bring back some music. Any final questions, comments, concerns before we uh, close out for the night? I need to find someone to raid too. Uh, once again, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming at 2.30 instead of the usual 3.30. So don't be late. Tomorrow's board is going to be very exciting. You guys will not want to skip out on tomorrow's board. Uh, I built my Iron Man themed keyboard, burgundy case brass plate, but can't find proper keycaps to match the theme. If you got a burgundy case, then you should get GMK burgundy. Or metaverse. I mean, this is. If you take out the weeb and novelties, that's pretty Iron Man, I'd say. Ah, yes, I should shout out the follows. Yo, Genesis, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you like it. It's a. Uh, feels nice. I wish you would have lubed the springs at least, but. This is still way better than any pre built keyboard. Helios Great Linears. Okay, I'm gonna read off all the follows that Ed sent me. Okay, thank you so much to Word Zero, Sholo Lenti, Lyle Manstroker. Thank you so much for the follows. Corbin Dallas, thank you so much for the three months in a row. X Fox, Orf MPL, thank you so much for the follow. Zero Suit Famous, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Hater Z Mechanics, Lunatic Kitties, Subaru, thank you so much for the follows. Uh, Pen15, Cloud11665, Haha, Deads, F, Akichan, Uwu, Brander, uh, a bunch of Japanese characters, Vert or Green, Wicked, Mr. Dutch Boy, X Shadow Warrior, Marcel the Tryhard, CC Chico, Davis, Pem, Block Toe, Joblo, AJ Mac Mac, Remix Gen, WNMZ, Nave Web, Hi Cyan, Devin123, Xumi, The Only Dosh, Oscar4749, Reborns, Lolaz, Basher, Osu, Ratmask, Davis, Dropmax, Sayomi, Awo, Somiandi, Yoharu, Infinity Twitch, Infinity X Twitch, AG, Prototip, 007, I'm Exotic, Matthias, WTBA, Zark, Osu, Friend, 05, Craft, Tex, 123, Perry, Perry, Darren, Radioactive Peach, Angus, P MC, The Glory Master, Not Owen Star, Not Derm, Leonators, Exxon, Aros, Electro Fire, Garbo, Stinky Dash, Lazy Mojo, Nick Fury, Ed Potts, thank you so much for the follows. <laughs> oh man. You guys want me to leak the board for tomorrow or not? Who says, who wants to be leaked and who doesn't? Leak tomorrow's board. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. It is not a gherkin. It is a TKL. Can anyone guess what TKL? gonna be not a CLS not a Jane V2 Jetfire is not a TKL not a Lin Whale unfortunately not a V2CE not a Vern uh, it is a babyface interface Marcel the Tryhard not a Kira not a Rama I don't even think a U80 prototype exists I could be wrong Nope, not Razor, not TX87, not a Black Widow. Whoa, wait, the tree? 
is using my weeb no jutsu. Are you a tier 3 sub? Oh, you're a tier 2 sub. Wow, that's rare. The tree using the rare weeb no jutsu emote. Orion V2. Nope. Number 1. What is number 1 Redux? Number 2 Stainless Steel says Asshat. Ding ding ding. Tomorrow's build. We're going to see the Stainless Steel version tomorrow. Is it going to get flipped too? Depends on who wins the giveaway tomorrow. I'm just kidding. It's not being given away. <laughs> it's not being given away. <laughs> No, it's not, I'm not giving it, it's not being given away tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so, should we raid Skara or Box Box? Who to raid? Skara has a lot more viewers, but I talk to Skara more than Box Box. Okay, let's give Skara a raid. We're gonna go give Skara a raid. What should be the keyword? Um key phrase sorry what's the key phrase key phrase uh, should we just say show us your keyboard again or Teha X Scara X Teha equals Teera okay I like that let's spam that Te Scara X Teha equals Teera um Leo Luna, what was your question? Sorry, I, I'm sorry if I missed it. I'm new to community, but I did research and I ended up getting tofu with DZ60 RGB uh, brass plate. Tilios with ESK. I want your opinion. Uh, that's a great starting off keyboard. Tofu case, I highly recommend for an entry build. Tofu is very nice. Tofu is nice. Tilios V2, also nice. DSA, it's preference. It's it's up to you whether you like the profile or not, but if you like it, you like it. How much was that keyboard to make this keyboard? I don't know. I don't know how much this KBD 75 is. Keycaps are probably around 150. All right, raid's gonna happen. See you guys tomorrow at 2.30. Let's spam the key phrase. See you nerds.